Hello everyone. So today we're going to be doing this, something a little bit different on this channel. Today I have a toy shark that my uh, little six-year-old nephew broke. He is a uh, very irresponsible with toys. So I'm going to put it back together and fix it. And this shark actually has a missing fin. So I'm actually going to make a new one. And then after I fix it, repaint it, I'm going to donate it and hope it goes to a kid that's better with toys. Plus also, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this Pluto here a new nose and also donate it. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is actually really simple. We're just going to gently, well, not gently, but we're going to have to pull on this and snap it back together. That was actually one of the most simplest parts right there. Okay, so the next part is to reattach the top jaw. Now, I believe this is actually supposed to make like sound or something, but because of how broke it is, we won't be able to recover that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to snip these wires off. And then the next part is actually going to be a bit hard, but like I said, I got reattached the top jaw. Alright, so the next thing is I'm going to uh, get some super glue out. The cap is actually glued down there tight, so I'm going to have to get a little creative. So we're just going to just gently. Alright. Oh, the super glue is open. All right, just give me one second. All right, sorry about that there. Um, when I opened the super glue, I uh, accidentally got a little bit on the Kindle case, but we're all good. So next thing is is ooh, to apply the glue to this top piece right here. It's gonna take a bit of glue, so. Get, rub that on there. Just... Alright, like I said, it's going to take a bit. Alright, we're going to set that aside. Take the shark. And just get, put up a little bit of fight, so... And there we go. Alright, we got the jaw in there. And kind of took a bit. So, we're just going to give that a few to dry, and then I'll come right back. Alright. The top jaw is now reattached, and honestly, I accidentally super glued my hand to my bed. I had to uh, <laughs> sandpaper the super glue residue off my hand. But, fixing a toy and donating it to a kid is worth super gluing your hand to things. So, next thing is to reattach the lower jaw. And this is actually going to be rather simple because, well, it's going to be easier to fix because there's that, thankfully, still attached to it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just try gently snap back into the socket without undoing the hard work that I just did. And... There. I got in. I'm going to have to secure the jaw though, however, it was meant to move, but due to the broken, due to how damaged the shark is, I'm going to have to secure it. Alright, the lower jaw has now been successfully reattached. Now the next part is going to be the hardest part, replacing the fin. So. 
give me a second while I grab some supplies. Alright. So what I did is I, I'm not sure if you can see, but, well they show up well, but, so what I did is I cut two pieces of plastic in the shapes of the fin. So what next thing I gotta do is I gotta attach these, like together, put something in the middle of it, and then attach it to the shark. Alright, after a little bit of time. The shark's jaws have been reattached, and he has a new fin now, which now next step is to get the paint out and give him a new paint coat. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is a little bit of white paint. As you can see right there. We're going to take a little bit of it, and the first thing we're going to do is work on the shark's dental work. As you can, let me go to the camera closer. You can really see there's some teeth in there that need some touch-ups, like this tooth right here. This tooth needs some more paint. That tooth, that this tooth right here, tilt it up. There's a tooth down there that needs some more paint. This is going to take me a minute. I'm going to Alright, so just to make sure real quick, going to grab a light. I actually already see some more teeth that need to be fixed. There's a lot of teeth in here missing paint. These teeth are starting to look very nice and white now. And it looks like all the teeth are nice and white. So next part is we're going to paint up the face a little bit. Right here.
Right, he's already starting to look much nicer now. We're going to turn him around real quick. I may have to repaint this entire area right here. Honestly, the harder part with painting is going to be to get the gray because I want to try to get like a perfect color too. So, we're just going to finish painting this lower jaw right here. Actually, I need to grab a small brush, but it's alright. Now, we're going to wait for that to dry and move on to other spots, such as right there. That definitely needs a touch up. Had to throw something over. Alright, definitely get, get that spot. That's done. We're going to give that a second to dry. Alright, now this next part. I need to get just right. So, I'm going to need a lot of white there. A lot of black. Now I just need to mix the paint together. This is going to take me a few, so... Here's a little closer look up. Oh, 
close-up look of the paint mixing. Here I see it's starting to form a nice gray. That almost looks like the gray we need for our shark. Alright, the mixed paint is pretty close, so next thing we're going to do is paint this fin. Now, this is going to take a little bit, but in the end, it's going to look really nice. So, this is going to take a bit. So, let me just go and speed up the process for you. Alright, the paint's going to take a second to dry, but he's all done. Completely restored. No, almost as good as new. Like I said, paint's got dry and his jaw is forever gonna be stiff, but he's fixed. And just to make sure he does not get broken again for a long time, he will be donated to the Reed Thir the Reed Safe Thrift. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me for my speech impediment. But he will be donated to a thrift store in Reed City, Michigan. Along with the Pluto here. Which, by the way, like I said, I gave him a new nose. Fixed the tail. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me restore this shark toy. And... Stay tuned for the next thing when I donate. I'm going to be donating something that is a red liquid and involves getting my arm stabbed. That's right, folks. I'm going to be donating my blood. Stay tuned to watch the donation.